Okay. All right, let's quickly speak with Powerhouse of Positivity. I hope I'm getting it right. Hi, good afternoon. You're welcome to the conversation. Powerhouse of Positivity. Are you there? Okay. Hello. Okay, hello. This is, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah. Can you hear me? So, yes, hold on. Can a you second. hear me? Yes, hold on a second. So, I can hear you, but I think you have multiple devices turned on at your own hand. So if you can use your headphones or maybe turn off one of your devices so that there's no echoes from your because there's, there's an echo from your end. I can hear myself echoing from your end. So please um, handle it, all right? And I'm going to keep quiet so that you talk, okay? All right, please carry on, carry on. Okay, can you hear? What about now? It's not okay now. It's not okay. okay. But I so I I'm, actually, I'm actually saying this is my first time joining your life and I just want to give you your flowers and say, shout out to you for everything that you've been doing see i try i try keeping up with the show but anytime i come up and i see your notification i'm like okay yes yeah, something is going on in the big brother show so kudos to you and also thank you for speaking out on the protest happening in nigeria see the thing with the protest in nigeria is if we don't talk about it if we don't speak about it nobody is going to know what is happening Nobody outside of Nigeria yes. is going to know what is happening. So I'm glad that you speak that, that you spoke about it. And my problem with the whole protest is the uh, allowances that our senators are gaining. How can you be having hardship allowance? Someone getting <laughs> hardship allowance won't do anything to make the country a better place. Because if the country is good, the hardship allowance will be taken away from them. So that's one of the things I've always been angry about, the whole allowance that our senators are getting. And the, one of the senators saying that they have to cut short their allowance in uh, for six months, cut it short. You can't do that. If you want to cut it short, cut it short for the whole term that you will be in office. Don't cut it short uh, in six months. Because if you cut it short in six months, after six months, you'll start awarding different contracts to yourself. You'll start finding different avenues to recuperate all the money that you've lost uh, that exactly. six months. so that is not sitting well with me so i like what the nigerian youths are doing now kenyans showed us that it is possible to demand good governance and they got it see what is happening in kenya now the gov the president dissolved the whole cabinet and is our president dead mm. is our president dead because i have never in my life seen in a country where the citizens are agitating where the citizens are angry and the president has never made a statement the president haven't come out even if you are afraid to speak to nigerians record it give it to somebody let them edit it give it to the news let them play it let us know that okay our place our president actually hears and he's listening to what the people are saying that's what mm -hmm. i have to say about the protest and therefore uh, big brother nigeria i haven't been keeping in touch i'm only watching it through your uh update but my first question is sean and uh, one ex and and I and I have to give it up for you. I don't know how you differentiate the two twin sisters because anytime I watch it, I don't know who is who. I always call them the one ex and the pair. So I don't know. It is super, super, super early to play the ship card in a show like Big Brother. We've seen it time without number. This is not what people are interested in now. Give change the dynamic. We saw how Kosi came played a different game that others are that people are familiar with because he won the game ilebaye used the pity card ilebaye won the game so in a show like big brother this is 2024 you shouldn't be playing the ship card and then yo that kiss that they gave each other on a thursday night poop at, i'm like in what world this is the four or the three that you guys made each other and you are uh, and you're already swallowing leaves you're already trying to kiss it everywhere you see each other you are kissing each other. It's not something that we like to see. Yes, a lot of people, they enjoy that kind of content, but that is not what the actual viewers, the people who enjoy Big Brother. I watch Big Brother to see strategies. I watch Big Brother to see how people think, to see how they will play this game. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy watching Big Brother and Zanzi. Because you see this housemaid putting their strategy. They come to the diary room. They tell Big Brother, this is what I'm going to do for this week. And they follow through. But in Nigeria, even if you ask them, okay, what is your game plan going into the show? They'll be like, well, I don't have a game plan. I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to cause chaos. I'm going. Then one week, two weeks, they, they, they come in there. It's like they meet different personalities in there and they have a reality check and they'll be like, oh, no, I can't do it. 
why some when they go in there they meet the personalities they be like okay i can adapt i can do this i can do this some of them go in there with a script with a game plan that they've already set out for themselves and then when they get in there and see that okay someone else is playing my game or someone else will notice the kind of game i'm playing they will just sit back and relax and let the viewers do what the hell we want to do with them if we want to keep them in the game we keep them in the, in the game no if you are coming to a show like big brother you have to have the power you have to have that kind of thing that okay you sit down you analyze the game and you see okay this is what these people are doing this is what people are doing you adapt to the pressure of the game you change your strategy you give us something new and another thing that i have to say is the whole challenges that big brother has been doing i'm always complaining about these challenges like i go to my nephew's inter house sports i go to my nephew's uh sporting activities in school and i see the type of challenge these kids do 10 years nine years they do and then i come to big brother people in their late 30s people in their late 20s big brother is giving them the same challenges that kids can do and then at the end of the day they win one million they win 200 500 thousand and they are happy that they want i'm like no this is something a two year old three year old can do so if you want to create a challenge that has a a one million uh, price tag on it or a 500 000 price tag on it make it challenging make it make it that these people will sweat so that if they win the game they will come out and say yes i want so so challenge i want so so challenge and i'm i'm waiting for super commando if super commando tries that rubbish they did during the all-star season jump one hoop climb one tree no that's not what i want to see you are super commando for crying out loud do something a commando can do do something that will make us feel like wow this is a game that we can see and uh for one x handy I don't know what game they are playing. They always try to put themselves wherever they see was was happening. It's like that is their strategy. Whenever they see was was happening, they go in there, take it up their head, and start and start attacking everybody. And also the unnecessary uh, crying that the, the that the housemate does. I don't understand where the crying is from. And also, Glory, please, what do you have to say about the uh, wager tax presentation yesterday? Because I was watching this wager tax presentation. One of the housemates said that he's a very dark man, that he, that he fights for people that are scammed by online vendors. And I'm like, Big Brad told you guys to tell us about yourself. Tell us what makes you you. Introduce yourself to us, the audience. And this housemate, yo, I was watching, and then what, what is his name? Ben. Ben started acting a play of how, uh, what, what was this word? How, how I forgot, well, I've forgotten the word. How bad his dad was while growing up. How he wants to be a, 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 a celebrity. How he wants to go into music, uh, be a club promoter or something. And his dad doesn't give him the opportunity. I'm like, Ben, that is not what makes you you. Tell us what makes you you. That is the thing. And also for the Mbadiwe twins, I've seen a lot of people talking about them, saying all sort of things about them. All I have to say is for their reign as the head of house for this week, they did an amazing job. They did an amazing job. They cared. They listened. If you if you uh, see how the housemates, some of the housemates, we are gushing about them in the diary room, how they listen to everybody. I'm like, okay, these are people that they, they provide lifestyle to people so they know what housemates want they know what housemates needs that's why they are listening to everybody and making sure that they come up with a way that everybody will be happy with their reign and also for onyeka see i watched their diary session and everybody is talking about oh they've bonded with onyeka oh they've bonded with onyeka and i'm asking myself do these people know that this is big brother niger that they are playing <laughs> and i don't think they know they have the power to save to save or no uh, or pinpoint who will go home because onyeka is playing a game that he she is there he, she is here with one person tomorrow she's here with one person she is creating uh what what is it what is it she is making people know her she's putting herself in a position where it will be difficult for this housemate to be like okay hey onyeka we are voting you out and this housemate are just taking it oh hey, onyeka is very cheerful onyeka has a vibe no she's playing the game and you people are buying it and also my i've chosen my faves already 
I don't know for some for, for, for people saying they haven't chosen their faith. I chose my faith, and they are the radicals. Yo, the fire in these children, yo, the the way <laughs> they play the game. You no, know, though they haven't started they're showing us their strategy and everything, but the way they move, and you see Femi David, yo, Femi David, one thing we kill Femi David and is Nyash. Femi David, anyway, Femi David sees Nyash. Femi David will just rush there, boom. Occupy the Nash. Anyway, from David Sisnia, he will just occupy. I'm just waiting to see what he will do in the party tonight. And also for the eviction tomorrow. Yo, the house is too much. I can't even name all 28 of them. I just call them in pairs. So I would like mm. to see double eviction tomorrow. Mm. When, so, uh, when the eviction comes, I would like to see double eviction. And if double eviction happens, because this housemate already have it in their mind that the first week, that the first week that they, they are safe. So I want to see double eviction happen and it will give them an awakening that, oh, the game has already started. So that is all I have mm. to say. And uh, I also want to say thank, thank you. you to you for doing an amazing job you so and much. giving us updates. Thank you so that is what I have to say. Thank, thank you. you so much. Power of positivity. That was that was very apt. Thank you so much. And there were a number of things you you mentioned that I totally agree with, yeah, um, especially the Onyeka part. You know, when the housemates had their first diary session, I was, I was quite disappointed because it felt like all of them, they all lost their guard. You know, this, the theme of the season is no lose guard, but meaning don't be taken unawares, right? But during the diary session, it was very obvious that most of them, they already lost their guard. They've already been taken unawares. However, there is a pair that already clocked Onyeka's gameplay. And they are not buying it. And that is the Mbadiwe twins. Those guys are very intelligent. Very intelligent. They already saw through Onyeka's gameplay, I think, on Tuesday. Because on Monday, Onyeka was applying pressure on almost all the guys. If I almost everybody, oh, who do you like in the house? Go and minister. She was trying to play Cupid, trying to match make people, telling people, oh, if you want me to help you talk to this person, I can talk to this person for you. So she kept on going from one twin brother to the other, OC and OZ, who do you like? Who do you like? And then she she would indirectly market herself as well. Like, oh, look at me. I don't want sheep. Oh, you know this reverse psychology thing that people do? Oh, you want something. You know you want something, but you say you don't want it so that people will try to push it down your throat. So you now say, mm, 